Hello everyone, welcome on EduTap and the scheme that we are covering today it is mission for integrated development of horticulture so it was asked by Purva for me to make a lecture on it and hence here is the video alright so we are going to understand about this particular scheme why because of course uh, you wanted me to uh, tell about it and also uh, this scheme was in news okay 10th March of 2023 and in fact uh, you know it is important even if you're preparing for NABAD or even if you're preparing for RBI right so to understand that the three centers of excellence for horticulture crops have been approved under the particular scheme you should first at least know what is this scheme all about right so we will again look at the news once we will understand the static component of it but before starting here's an announcement for all the aspirants who are preparing for central regulatory bodies we have come up with one stop solution guide to all the queries that you must be having regarding the organization you would want to join for example if you want to know about RBI and ABAD SEBI what's its role uh, how do they contribute to India's economy everything you can find in this book along with what will be your your role once you join the organization right so once that is done you would want to know about how to join the organization right so everything about eligibility criteria what should be your education qualification how many phases are there what is the pattern of each phase how many questions are asked what is the pattern of each question what is the previous year cutoff trend all the things including the syllabus and whatnot uh, any question that you must be having in your mind all have been already covered in these e-guidebooks to save your time and energy so that you can just you know read everything about it and then start off with the preparation so if you want to download these e-guidebooks which are free of cost you can find the link in the description box below all right so first let's understand about this particular scheme uh, like uh, what is the full form of it and what does it actually mean right so it is a mission for the integrated integrated means mixed approach right where everything has been kept into uh, focus not just one uh, one segment of the chain but the whole chain have been taken into consideration okay and uh, development of horticulture so first we have to understand what is horticulture right so horticulture it is a branch of agriculture only okay and it deals with the cultivation and production of fruits vegetables uh, aromatic uh, plants and there are various other types of it so basically if in a simple language if I would say except for the field crops which is basically your uh, wheat rice and pulses in a very simple manner if i'll say see if i'll go to the agriculture where it's very deep but in a very simple manner i will say dal chawal ka chhodke, whatever the things that are left that comes under your horticulture and of course forestry it's a uh, different branch in itself right but i hope whatever now you can think of uh, fruits uh, vegetables right anything uh, flowers anything they all come under your horticulture only okay so integrated development means because in india we had the green revolution for uh, for the wheat right we uh, then we focused on rice pulses have always been part of our system but horticulture was not focused much along with that if I talk about if in India and if we, you have to compare see if you look at the uh, the rice or any other such grain or if you look at the pulses they can if you keep them they can even be kept for many months right it's because uh, many months because they are uh, they are stored in such a way that the moisture is removed so that it can be sustained for a longer duration of time but in horticulture crops that is not the case right you can maximum to maximum even in fridge you can keep it to one week or maybe one one and a half week right after that it starts to perish and without the refrigeration it can even perish to two to three days or five to six days depending on the type of crop right so here we have to focus on this so when we say integrated development of horticulture first of all we are including all the crops that comes under it along with that we are also focusing on each chain of the system even from the start of sowing till the it reaches to the customers right so that is all we are focus we are going to focus in this particular scheme okay i hope you get the concept of it and uh, now let's look at the basics first so the launcher of the scheme is 2014 okay and it falls under the ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare of course it it is of the department of horticulture because but we don't have such ministry right ministry of horticulture we have ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare so that is why it comes under it so aim we have already understood to have a holistic development okay so holistic growth of what of the horticulture crops okay covering whatever fruits we have vegetables we have root and tuber crops so these are the crops which are grown in uh, which are developed in uh, below the soil okay uh, soil surface so roots and tuber crops uh, we have mushrooms mushroom directly as an it is not part of horticulture it is allied but uh, here you can uh, consider it okay spices we have flowers aromatic plants we have coconut cashew nut cocoa bamboo basically these come under your plantation crops okay but again part of horticulture okay so aim kya holistic growth on a 
हॉर्टिकल्चर सेक्टर का ठीक है एंड सब स्कीम सो बेसिकली द एम आई डी एच ठीक है ये खुद ये किसी का स्कीम का पार्ट है देर इज एन अम्ब्रेला स्कीम दिस अम्ब्रेला स्कीम विद द नेम कृषोन्नति योजना कृषि मीन्स फार्मर उन्नति मीन्स प्रोस्पैरिटी टू मेक दम प्रॉस्पर ओके दिस particular scheme we have krishonati yojana uh, it includes a lot of sub schemes and one of it is midh theek hai and uh, this specifically it just have one target to have the uh, prosperity of the farmer iske alawa iska aise there are no uh, certain key features of that whatever be the schemes under it they are main to remember theek hai now here is some funding that is also required theek hai so the type of scheme it is it is a uh, centrally sponsored scheme sponsored means both state and the uh, central government will have the share okay? Okay. If you look at the latest out, uh, the financial outlay that has been the circular, uh, uh, circular that has been given by the ministry. In that, the amount has been written that the for the financial year of 2023-2024, how much will be given uh, by the central government for this? That will be your 1965.98 crore. Okay, 1965.98 crore will be. Uh, contributed by the central government okay and it is a centrally sponsored okay so if you look at the official guidelines no so at that time there were some different uh, categorization of the funding okay but now if you look at the latest circular that has been released in that it is clearly mentioned that the uh, division of the funding will be as usual that is 60 is to 40 in normal cases in case of northeast state it will be your 100% by the uh, sorry 90 is to 10 by the central government and in the case of ut's wahan kitna hoga 100% aapka hoga theek hai so in the latest circular this is what the division has been mentioned so please if you are looking at the guideline official guideline sometime that is the old one in 2014 that the distribution was there but in the latest circular this was the division that was mentioned theek okay? hai and the amount is 1965.98 crore theek okay? hai now there are sub schemes under this also so midh in itself it is a scheme or sub scheme of the krishonati yojana right but in itself it has various sub schemes why because we understood that in horticulture there are a lot of types right fruits they have their different requirement and uh, their different cultivation habits similarly for vegetables then we are including mushrooms bamboo coconut all these things right that is why there are various sub schemes so that individual focus can be given in these cases right so these are the eight schemes see if you look at now in this also if you look at for different documents somewhere you will find only five somewhere you will find seven six somewhere seven but this is the latest one again the latest circular that has been released no stating about the uh, about the money distribution funding allocation in that there are eight sub schemes that are present and because this is the latest data that is of 4th may 2023 that is why we are taking it into consideration if any data comes after that and if you are looking later at during the later time i would suggest you go through the whatever be the latest circular that is released and please keep in mind the things accordingly however this is not going to change under the next financial year okay so if you are looking at in this time period only uh, then you can rely on this data theek okay? hai सब स्कीम कौन सी है नेशनल हॉर्टिकल्चर मिशन है वी हैव ठीक है देन वी हैव हॉर्टिकल्चर मिशन फॉर नॉर्थ ईस्ट एंड ईस्टर्न हिमालयन स्टेट्स स्पेशल फोकस हैज बीन गिवन देयर नेशनल हॉर्टिकल्चर बोर्ड वी हैव कोकोनट डेवलपमेंट बोर्ड ऑफ कोर्स नाउ यू लुकिंग एट बोर्ड हैज बीन रिटर्न बट दीज आर मिशन ओनली दे हैव सर्टन मिशन राइट सो बोर्ड हैज ऑल्सो बीन फॉर्म कोकोनट डेवलपमेंट बोर्ड विच इज सिचुएटेड इन कोची सेंट्रल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ हॉर्टिकल्चर विच इज सिचुएटेड इन नागालैंड देन वी हैव डायरेक्टरेट ऑफ कैशोनट एंड कोकोआ डेवलपमेंट विच इज इन कोची नेशनल बैम्बू मिशन एंड डायरेक्टरेट ऑफ एरेकनट एंड स्पाइस तो ये सब इसके सब मिशन एंड सब स्कीम्स है ओके एंड दे हैव देयर डिफरेंट एम्स फ्रॉम द नेम इट यू कैन गेट एन आइडिया विच सेक्टर इज फोकसिंग ऑन व्हाट, राइट यू नीड नॉट टू अंडरस्टैंड इन डेप्थ ऑफ दीज थिंग्स हाउ एवर दिस इज द बजट एलोकेशन एज आई वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट टेकिंग इन टू कंसिडरेशन द लेटेस्ट सर्कुलर सो हेयर फ्रॉम द आरबीआई पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू दीज डेटाज आर नॉट दैट मच इंपॉर्टेंट राइट हाउ एवर द डेट द फंडिंग एलोकेशन ऑफ द एम आई डी एच एस बट नॉट ऑफ इंडिविजुअल केसेस राइट बट इफ यू आर preparing for navard examination i would say just go through the allocation once theek hai to uska allocation thoda sa dekh lena so uh, but however we have to focus on the total one and uh, yeah now talking about the objective so see we have understood everything and this is the basics of the scheme only now it just a little bit of clarity you can say we are getting on it otherwise everything is clear only okay so main objectives ke mission ke first of all to have holistic growth that we have understood including bamboo and coconut okay we are including that also now how are is this holistic growth is going to happen when we say holistic we means everything so we are including the different strategies which include what research on those particular for example for bamboo cultivation 
research needs to be done on that how we can get the best production and productivity out of it and the best quality product right technology promotion under the horticulture extension extension means here basically it means that uh, the rural people they should be taught about the uh, techniques that can be followed in horticulture okay post harvest management post harvest means what once you have cut down the crops after that it is not directly given to the consumer right there are some process that goes on for example cashew nut in hindi that is known as kaju okay uh, that is not it's not like you harvest it from the from the field and you directly give it to it right if you look at ever look at the cashew nut so it's like a upper structure it has and then cashew nut it is present somewhere here so it needs to have post harvest management okay so post harvest management hona chahiye processing of it processing means now this cashew nut it's not like then again that you cut it out and you send it a uh, sell it it's a thick covering it has so that covering has to be removed right so and there is a various processes in all such crops that we are talking about that goes on okay the processing and marketing again we are talking about holistic growth okay and uh, yeah and of course we have to focus on the state and region wise where the uh, these products can have the maximum output. ठीक है तो वो भी देखना है. Encourage aggregation of farmers. Of course, we know if farmers come together as FPOs, right, uh, or farmer producing company or any uh, such thing, then they will be uh, having more profit also. Even the sell will be more, and even the inputs can be of cheaper rates because if they come together and they all buy a singular tractor, of course that will be more efficient than uh, the small and marginal farmers. They are just uh, utilizing or rather wasting much of the time in the field, right? Then then we have to focus on objective of this particular scheme is also to strengthen the nutritional security because see what happens whatever horticulture crops uh, fruits and vegetable if i specifically talk about somewhere around 25 to 30% of it that gets wasted because we don't have proper storage facility and they are perishable perishable means they die uh, easily right in 2 to 3 days and this is the data that we have if you look at the data of fao that is food agri food and agriculture organization uh, international organization that is the this rate is even more than 40 to 50 percent or even more than that okay so that is why if if the products gets wasted produce gets wasted uh, of course it is going to directly impact on the nutritional security right so we have to focus on that how can we focus on that by enhancing the production of horticulture uh, increasing their income okay augmenting farmers together and also we have to improve the productivity now what is the difference between production and productivity for example the uh, this particular land was uh, nobody was utilizing this land for the horticulture crops right now somebody started uh, under the mission uh, they promoted people to grow horticulture crops it will have some yield right for example it had 50 kg uh, that's the bare minimum i'm saying for the sake of telling you right so this is production but how to actually get the maximum yield out of it how to from this land only from 50 kg we have to get 100 kg from this land only now this is productivity means in a particular land how much the best yield the maximum result can be at, uh, at, uh, achieved theke? that is a productivity so we have to improve that also now how can be done by whatever inputs that we are providing starting off with the seed then with the fertilizer and the proper water availability irrigation facility okay we have to focus on that as well then we have to support skill development also so if you look at the objectives no if will give you a very basic idea okay about the like you have to focus on everything even from the start best quality seeds water irrigation facility all these things uh, then also uh, yeah so we are giving best inputs right this will increase productivity then you have to focus on the post harvest management then you have to also provide with the technologies all these things you have to do research on these things also so that in future also we can have best output Deekho, sari cheez wo hai. even if you read at it later no you would understand but here when we are focusing on the session we are just uh, we are just exchanging the thoughts right now uh, is me ek cheez hai ki jo cold chain sector hai na usme kafi zyada isme focus kiya jayega there will be a lot of focus in the cold chain sector okay so here what will be done what is this cold chain sector see for example this is a field from where the production has been done now this has to be sent to some other market of some other state and that state is very far away okay as we know in two to three days these products are perished right so it can't be actually be sent to the far off places but if we have cold chain sector what does it mean so basically whatever be the storage even at the 
farm level or maybe when you are transferring it the trucks that are there there should be proper refrigeration facility those trucks are modified these are known as the cold chain uh, vehicles where the temperature can be controlled and uh, it uh, the refrigeration with the help of refrigeration the shelf life of these products can be increased okay the special focus hamara kis mein cold chain sector mein uh, again now strategy kya hogi to end to end holistic approach end to end means from the start of where you are sowing the seeds till the end till it reaches the customer at every uh, step pre production production se pehle theek hai even pro having proper field uh, checking if it has all the nutrients the soil has also nutrients or not everything then its production post harvest management processing marketing everything will be insured under this particular scheme you have to just keep in mind there will be focus on research and development technologies okay uh, productivity will be increased theek hai how can productivity will be increased first of all to look at that in which state or region uh, the which horticulture crop will give the best result right then to focus on the inputs then focus on the best technologies to provide extension education to the farmers right and then for the post harvest and all these things high tech uh, whatever techniques we have to convey to the farmer to make their cluster theek hai same cheez hai strategy same hai theek hai coordinated approach means we have to promote partnership ppp public private partnership we have to encourage ngos we have to promote private sector to actually invest in our horticulture development right uh, fpos promote karna hai capacity building capacity building is what skill development okay and human resource development karna hai at all levels okay including change in syllabus also and curriculum of graduation also theek hai jo bhi uh, uh, whoever do bsc in horticulture or maybe even agriculture also because uh, we also studied some of the horticulture component however not in detail but we had horticulture as a subject right in agriculture also so even to change the syllabus to tell them about the new research to tell them about the new ways right so all these things will be done both at the theoretical level also and the practical level also theek hai ab ye dekho structure and next important thing to know a uh, uh, questions have been asked in one of the competitive examinations theek hai to at national level we have two types of council okay one will be the general council that will be chaired by the minister of agriculture and farmers welfare and one, uh, one will be the executive committee which will be chaired by the secretary of again मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड फार्मर्स वेलफेयर ठीक है जनरल काउंसिल का क्या काम होगा ये एक फॉर्मुलेशन बॉडी है जो भी डायरेक्शन मीन्स वट एवर बी द रूल्स रेगुलेशन दैट विल बी फॉर्म इट विल बी बाई जनरल काउंसिल ओनली ठीक है एंड एग्जीक्यूटिव कमेटी का क्या काम है ओवरसी करना कि मिशन is all the uh, or whatever be the formulations that have been made are they being properly implemented or not theek hai to ek isa kaam hai executive execute karna theek hai uh, and now there are two things important again i have been asked in previous year first of all whatever be the council meeting that will happen it will happen at least twice a year means minimum to minimum two times in a year they will have a meeting discussion it can be more than that but at least two will be there and non official members because see these are the head who will chair the particular committee right but there will be other members also and these will also be part of uh, your um, uh, ministry only right but the non official members you have to keep in mind they are nominated for the period of 3 years only and they keep on changing for 3 years so this was uh, one asked in one of the examinations theek hai तो अगेन दैट इज़ वाई एम सिंग दिस इसको थोड़ा सा देख लो सो नेशनल लेवल में वी हैव द इफ यू लुक एट द मैनेजमेंट स्ट्रक्चर एट नेशनल लेवल वी हैव जनरल काउंसिल चेयर्ड बाय मिनिस्टर ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड फार्मर वेलफेयर ठीक है और एग्जीक्यूटिव कमेटी कौन है चेयर्ड बाय द सेक्रेटरी एंड देन वी हैव स्टेट लेवल में एग्जीक्यूटिव कमेटी है विच विल बी चेयर्ड बाय एग्रीकल्चर प्रोडक्शन कमिश्नर और द प्रिंसिपल सेक्रेटरी ऑफ हॉर्टिकल्चर एग्रीकल्चर एनवायरमेंट ऑफ फॉरेस्ट रिलेटेड टू दैट पर्टिकुलर स्टेट ठीक है तो स्टेट लेवल में प्रिपरेशन है देन वी हैव डिस्ट्रिक्ट मिशन कमेटी who will take care at the district level so we have to look at basically dekho hierarchy mein dekhna hai so ki niche niche aake who would be taking care of all the uh, all the implementation so district mission committee hogi which will be chaired by the ceo of zila parishad or the ceo of district rural development agency or of that of forest department or the district development officer theek hai to we have नेशनल लेवल टू जनरल कमेटी एग्जीक्यूटिव देन वी हैव स्टेट लेवल एग्जीक्यूटिव कमेटी ठीक है देन वी हैव डिस्ट्रिक्ट मिशन कमेटी एंड देन एट पंचायती लेवल आल्सो पंचायत राज लेवल आल्सो आइदर डिस्ट्रिक्ट प्लानिंग कमेटी मींस बोथ डिस्ट्रिक्ट प्लानिंग कमेटी एंड पंचायती राज इंस्टीट्यूशन विल टेक केयर ऑफ दैट एंड ऑल्सो टेक्निकल सपोर्ट ग्रुप विल बी फॉर्म विच विल प्रोवाइड विद ऑल द टेक्निकल सपोर्ट ठीक है तो ये बेसिक था आई विल जस्ट आंसर योर क्वेरीज ओके लेट मी जस्ट शो यू सो इट सेज नाउ सो वी अंडरस्टूड वॉट इज द रोल ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर mission now it says three center of excellence see center means a place right excellence means where uh, everything is of top notch quality right so three centers of excellence means such centers have been made because we have just 
taught uh, we have been just uh, we just read that uh, even pe uh, farmers will be taught about the new technologies that they can utilize right how they can get the best output best yield right so center of excellence have been made for for what for three important horticulture crops what are these uh, dragon fruit kamlam bolte usko uh, and uh, then we have मैंगो फॉर मैंगो एंड वेजिटेबल तो देखो तीन अलग अलग जगह में हुई है ड्रैगन फ्रूट की कहाँ पे हुई है बेंगलुरु में देन फॉर मैंगो एंड वेजिटेबल कहाँ पे हुई है ओडिशा में अलग अलग जगह में ठीक है एंड देन वी हैव वेजिटेबल और फ्लावर्स के लिए गोवा में भी हुई है ठीक है तो सेंटर ऑफ एक्सेलेंस बने हैं वेयर दे विल बी डेमोन्स्ट्रेटेड एंड ट्रेंड फॉर द लेटेस्ट टेक्नोलॉजी इन द फील्ड ऑफ हॉर्टिकल्चर दैट दे कैन यूटिलाइज ठीक है इवन द फार्मर्स विल हैव बेनिफिट दे विल हैव इफ दे विल हैव बेटर रील दे कैन सेल इट एट अ गुड प्राइस राइट एंड इवन द द एम ऑफ द मिशन और द मिशन Uh, of the government that will also be fulfilled theek okay? hai so you have two very small homework for this particular scheme okay budget allocation batana hai non official member for how many years like they are being nominated and these are the toppers of the last session abhishek asked me to make a video on that so uh, welcome uh, then we have uh, manohar saying the right answer we have anubhav saying the right answer abhishek said the right answer uh, renu said the right answer we have rachit saying the right answer uh then we have rekha saying the right answer we have amandeep saying the right answer we have a vlogger saying the right answer uh, vlogger one answer i think gave wrong okay please look at it and if you have query uh, query please write i'll, I'll answer uh, shri devi said the right answer we have yathave saying the right answer so that is all in this video if you have any doubt any query if you want me to cover any scheme do let me know i'll definitely make a session on that if that is an uh, in news recently right and uh, uh, all the feedbacks are welcomed and thank you so much for watching the session now i'll look at chetak good afternoon priya purushottam good afternoon priya singh good afternoon satya ma'am did you just start the session uh, why was this scheme in news satya i i hope now you get the answer i have started at the uh, at the start i have added at the start and at the end of the video and also yes the session start exactly at 1 okay and uh, ठीक है येस वी हैव माइंड मैप्स ओनली द स्कीम्स एट अ कवर्ड इन द कोर्स दे आर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ माइंड मैप्स ओनली सो दैट हेल्प्स इन बेटर लर्निंग एज वेल एज रिविजन देन वी हैव मोहित ओके चेतक वेलकम एंड वी हैव मोहित गुड मॉर्निंग ओके आई थिंक इट्स गुड आफ्टरनून या सो या दैट इज ऑल इन दिस वीडियो थैंक यू एवरीबडी ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन फॉर विच एवर यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एंड आई रियली होप दैट दिस ईयर ओनली यू गेट टू द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट यू वॉन्ट टू जॉइन थैंक यू एवरीबडी प्रिपेयर हार्ड